Hey, what's up, race fans? Welcome to the Bulls shop here in Ellington, Connecticut. I got the newest SK Modified driver for the Bulls team, and Matt Swanson, and he's gonna give us a little bit of a tour of the shop. Matt, first of all, how long has this shop been around for? Well, I don't know. We call it Tommy's Playground. <laughs> Tommy's been racing for a long time. Yeah, so it originally started off, um, this section was built first, and then when Tommy was doing the Bush North stuff, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the fabrication and stuff, body work and all that was done in-house. So they added on the second part, and that's kind of the fab shop back there. You got a lot to show. Yeah, so definitely. First of all, let's start with the cars. Yeah. That's the most important part, I guess, many people would think. So. Yeah, so the first car that you're gonna see here is the uh, 78. Uh, previously was the 76 that Tommy drove. Complete strip down, uh, everything's been gone through. Uh, myself and Sean Salou have pretty much gone through this whole car. Um, and then next to the 78, we have the 76 SK Lite uh, that Ron Mil Midford's gonna drive. Yep. Uh, this was Tommy's SK Modified. This car he actually built himself. Um, this is what we call the home built car. So yep. then we move on to this car, the red car. Yep. Uh, this is actually a tour type modified. Um, it's an LFR chassis that Tommy purchased a few years back. Um, this was actually his SK Modified mm -hmm. uh, for, I believe, a season, maybe a season and a half. They recently converted it into a tour type car. So this is an LFR, that's home built, and that is? Uh, Troyer, that's a Troyer car. Brake caliber mounts, um, rear end mounts, brake lines, just miscellaneous stuff that you could potentially need. We have a set of grain scales over here. Tommy makes me step on the grain scale all the time to make sure that my weight doesn't change so we don't have to move weight around power steering fluid, just random miscellaneous stuff that you never know when you're gonna need it. Bunch of hose clamps, nuts, bolts. Got the lift um, right here. Yeah, got the lift that is very nice, uh, yeah, especially dude. when you're you know, thrashing to get a car put together. We got Ronnie's engine right here that just came back from Rad Auto Machine. Uh, gears for the quick change rear ends, which um, we have in the LFR car. Uh, carburetors, uh, bump steer gauges. Just the yeah, list goes on and on. Never have too much stuff. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you race every Friday night. Because, yeah. you know, you never know what can go wrong. And when you race every Friday, you, you're going to need the stuff eventually. We got another bench over here. They keep the shocks in that bench. And it's kind of like a, if we ever do hubs or uh, brake rotors or bearings, mm -hmm. um, you ever do anything, that's where you do it. So this is the second part. Yeah, this, this is, is the, the second part, part that they yeah. just added on. Um, this is what we call kind of like the fab, the fab part of the shop. Yep. Um, right here we have Tommy's brand new Troyer TA1 that he just recently purchased from Keith Rocco Racing. Okay. Um, that he's putting together to run some races with. Um, we have Tommy's toolbox. No one touches Tommy's toolbox oh, okay. but Tommy. Yep. Off limits. Uh, he's just got all his stuff in here. If there's a tool you need, it's yep. in this toolbox. Radiator, front horn, front bumper. Yep. Um, we have all the old bush car templates for the bodies. Oh, when you're inspecting them. Yeah, so when huh. Tommy used to do all the bodies himself on the yeah. bush car, he'd use those templates to make sure he would pass tech. A laser squaring system that we'll wow. use every once in a while when the cars need to be squared. Yeah. A sandblast cabinet mm -hmm. when you need to clean parts. Um, right here is all our scales uh, for when we're scaling the cars every week. When I told you Tommy loves to fabricate things, um, this is kind of his uh, spindle corner. This is where he keeps all his spindles that he's either fixed or made or you name it, they're there. Piles them over there. We have all our spare nose pieces that yep. our crew member Cliff makes. We have our press, uh, tubing bender, uh, extra torque arms, our pit box, mm -hmm. which is hiding over here. Big old bandsaw that is hiding under here. Yep. Uh, stand up bandsaw. A MIG, uh, TIG welder, excuse me, uh, torches, clamps, uh, fabrication table right here. Yep. Um, that actually has Tommy's uh, spindle jig on the end of it there. He's actually building a set of spindles right now. This right here? Yep. So Tommy actually will build spindles with that. Over there, you got a plasma cutter, bench grinder, yep. uh, surface grinder, drill presses, uh, stomp shear. This is actually a chassis jig. Oh. Um, so what we, what Tommy normally does is what we did with this car right here. Um, when he got this car from Keith, we put it right on the jig. Yep. Um, he took all the jig fixtures that he had for my car, because they're the same frame, uh -huh. and made sure that my car was straight and his car was mm. how 
my car was when it was built. So here's Tommy's MIG welder that he uses to weld stuff together. Uh -huh. um, over here, just more fabricating stuff, uh, die grinders, angle grinders, uh, hole saws, rivet guns, you name it, it's here. He's got everything. Yeah, here you got an English wheel uh, to roll panels, like the front panels on all the cars are all rolled. So oh yeah. That does that for you, a lot of steel. Uh, aluminum uh, nose piece templates. So he'll actually take this paper right here and trace out a piece of aluminum mm. and then take the piece of aluminum, trace it, cut it, and then bend it and there's your piece. This is a shrinker and stretcher for aluminum. Under here we have a bunch of lead that we use for the race cars. Oh yeah. So right here is a rack that Tommy built for rear ends just okay. to stack everything up, make sure, again, make sure we have everything. Um, we have all our spare hoods up top, yep. spare uh, tin work, spare rear bumpers, block with engine plates on it so he can mount. When he fixes cars, he can mount the motors mm -hmm. without actually having to put the, motor, put the motor in. That's a lot lighter than a fully dressed motor. Um, we have a bridge port right here and a lathe over here. Dial indicators, drill bits, chucks for the bridge port, just anything you ever need. And then Tommy's got some old trophies up yep. there. I mean, in that desk, and in that cabinet over there, there are more pictures. Sandra knows where all the pictures are. And you said you had his arc, his bush tires? Yeah, they're out in the shed. There's okay. a set of tires from Daytona out in the shed. We can actually make our way out there if you want to go out there and check that out. So that's one shed. I don't know what's in that shed. Probably oh. race car parts. You know, Lisa told me, I remember, that Bulls is known for having animals coming over here a lot. Oh yeah, we have community animals. We have cats, we have skunks deer that's where he feeds them every night really they feed them every night truck and trailer stays back here yep so it makes life a lot easier when we're getting ready to load up because we actually scale the cars right in here oh in the oh back this, here yeah, yeah it's an easy out gotcha. so we just put the car right in the trailer so this is kind of the the uh we call it well it's the shed yep we've got uh all tommy's old pretty much all his old parts uh, over there in the corner, that's a set of Daytona tires yep. um, from when Tommy went down and ran the bush race at Daytona. Uh, old wheels, body panels, shock towers, you name it, it's in here. Huh. Uh, and then right here is actually all Tommy's uh, frame fixtures. Even with that big shop, they need more room. It's amazing. You can, you can never have enough room. <laughs> Got some other open trailers and stuff over here. So, so like um, extra cars and such? Yep. Yeah, if they ever tow a tractor or anything. Well, before we freeze ourselves out here, because <laughs> it is about to snow at the time of this recording, we want to thank you, Matt, for bringing us here to the Bulls shop. It's a beautiful shop. There's so much stuff, so much history, and we really appreciate you taking your time to show off the place. It's really nice. Oh, thank you guys for coming over, and don't thank me. Thank Tommy Bulls and Sandra and all his guys for uh, you know providing us with such a nice place to be. You heard him. That's Matt Swanson looking to get it done in 2022, teaming up with Tom Bowles in the SK Modifieds.